Hello, friends. We are here back again, and we are excited to share with you another incredible woman who's going to be co-hosting our final event of the series. But before I introduce you to this beautiful woman beside me, I would like to first introduce myself. My name is Lisa Harris, and I am an author, a storyteller, a narrative coach certified in narrative therapy, and the CEO and founder for Lisa Harrison Company. We are a personal development and coaching business that connects, guides, and transforms women's lives through the power of storytelling. It is such an honor to be here with all of you to share with you our co-host for our final event of the series. So for all of you who have been following, we have our online series this fall. And this is our third and final event of that series. And we started this series back in 2020. In 2020, like everyone else in the world, we needed to find another way to connect with the women in our community. And we started Unveiled Beauty Holding Hands as an online series. And we're still doing them today. And so here we are with our final event of the series for fall 2022. And this event is on Thursday, November 17th from 7 to 9 p.m. And it's called My Career, Superpower, Purpose, and Change. And with me today, I would like to introduce you to our co-host for that final event. And her name is Jen Gilhoy. And I am so excited and so honored to have you on the platform leading this discussion. So can you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I certainly can. Thanks, Lisa, for hosting. And I'll just start with saying I am actually celebrating 10 years with my marketing communications business of SparkTrack. Like Yay! with all the things going on, I almost forgot oh, about that. Goodness. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. so amazing. 10 years. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I really in that business um, warmed to covering events and event recaps. So that has been what I've talked about mostly for the last five, six years. And then recently want to share with everyone, I have just completed a TED talk where I shared my sobriety journey of eight years and also launched a business that is connected to that called Zero Proof Collective. And that was in May. So a lot of things, you know, swirling in the universe mm -hmm. right now. And it's been amazing to come together with these three other women as co-hosts and really live this um, change and this experience. Yeah. So thank you for inviting me. Oh, we're so, so happy to have you. And <laughs> I'm just very excited and honored to be able to support you in your journey. We've been connected now for maybe a year, two? A little over a year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew of you way before that. I, I had watched you from afar and I, I looked at the women you were highlighting and supporting and thought, you know, maybe someday. Mm -hmm. And I was far away from that five some years ago. Yeah. But yeah, well, that's it's pretty cool. right. Yes. Now I'm remembering. I'm remembering yeah. how we connected and reconnected. And mm -hmm. um, yes, definitely. There is a reason and a purpose yeah. for those who come in our life. And I definitely believe in that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm so glad you're here and excited about your journey as you continue to share pieces of your story. And um, really in this event, I'm thrilled to be able to hear and discover how you and your co-host <laughs> kind of intertwine this topic. So I usually pick pretty broad topics because I like to bring different kinds of women together with different experiences, different backgrounds. Um, and with that, allowing them the autonomy to tie the story, mm -hmm. to tie the topic mm -hmm. together. And so, as I had mentioned, the topic is my career, superpowers, purpose, and change. That's a lot of things. So maybe you can share with our audience what you'll be sharing as it relates to that bigger, broader topic, or maybe even like why this particular um, topic, why you gravitated to this topic. Oh, yeah. I think one of the first things, and this is just a testament to the vulnerability um, piece of it, Lisa, that you've created. But when we all came together and you'll see burnout isn't necessarily in the title, but that was one place where we all started. Our careers had, you know, different pieces to it, but literally we've all experienced that or our, 
you know, recently, even during COVID experienced that my burnout was at age 40. And I have a story about that. We yeah. all started there in shaping this conversation. And I think, um, you know, many women can relate to that, whether they've been through burnout or they're on the verge of it. Yep. So that was one where we all instantly came together <laughs> and it was like, okay. And some of us have more of like a traditional corporate career. Um, I was in corporate until age 40 and my burnout led me to entrepreneurship. Yep. So that's where I've been the last 10 years. So I think our perspectives are very interesting. And I think almost any woman could relate coming to this. So that was one piece. And then out of the three topics, I really gravitated toward the superpower. Um, yeah, I just did. I was like, yeah. you know, it's, I have done exercises with other groups about what is that? Um, and do we all have it? And so I wanted to play with that and have some fun with it. My, I kind of think of myself as embodying Elastigirl, right? So Ooh. like the, the mom that stretches and bends and like yeah. not, you know, we talked about multitasking a lot and like all we do, but it's somehow enlightening to kind of envision yourself as um, the roles you play and what you do and what is important about that. And I think the biggest thing I landed on, even in our conversation with the women was um, sometimes you don't, you just don't know that it's so powerful, yeah. but I think a lot of women and what I had suggested to the group is that you ask other people, what's my superpower? Like, what do you think I do really well? Because in all honesty, when I got that question, I didn't know. I was like, yeah, I think, you know, I'm empathetic. I think I can listen to others well. But what it evolved to when people repeat that back to you in its most simple form, it's it's really amazing. And you own it. And it and once you know what that is, it can show up in many different ways and you can use that to fuel your purpose and yeah. change. I mean, that's what I did. I mean, I'll share more in our conversations and in the two hour session about what that looked like. And it certainly didn't happen overnight, but yeah. 10 some years ago, that's where it started. Like I didn't even know that at age 40. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. Can, I feel all of that. And, mm -hmm. and that's, what's really, I think really empowering about this event and bringing different kinds of women together is just that we're able to see all sorts of women with all sorts of backgrounds and experiences and see them and their thread yeah. of humanity, right? You know, mm -hmm. many, many, all the women on, on this, um, in this group are moms, right? And high yep. achieving women. And so when you tangle that together, it's, there's so much commonality no matter what you're, no matter what you're experiencing. And so it's, it's so beautiful mm -hmm. to see how you guys come together and what you pull from it. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really curious and excited. So those who haven't been following the reason I say I'm curious, yes, I know this is my mm -hmm. platform. Um, again, <laughs> I'm curious because I really do give these women the autonomy to pull together this event in whatever feels right for that collective of women. They understand the brand and the mission, but it's really mm -hmm. about having those women come together and sharing pieces of their experience um, really in a way that kind of works for this group of women. And so yeah. I know you're gonna hear some really amazing, amazing conversations. And it's not only for listening, there's gonna be time mm -hmm. to engage. Um, yeah. If you want, you know, I, I do mm -hmm. think it's important for women to know that in our spaces, they have control and whatever that means for you. So showing up mm -hmm. as you are to listen, to participate, um, all of that is, is welcome and in this space. So, so we're yeah. excited about it. Can is I, can I add? Yes, please. I was oh, yes. If there's anything I'm else like, to add. <laughs> be, before I forget, because you know, the title is focused on career, right? But yeah. one of the things we all talked about was blurred lines between yeah. your life's purpose and career. And you you can't, you shouldn't be separating that out. It should all be together, yeah. right? And like, I think so many of us, I thought I would have this specific career track that was modeled by women in corporate before me. And 
I very early on just didn't see that for myself, but I also didn't see another path. So when yes. all of us started talking about what the expectations for career were, we didn't necessarily see purpose in there. Yeah. We didn't, you know, we just didn't see it. So as we talked about it, it was, it was incredible to kind of come around to this um, blurred lines piece yeah. a little bit. And certainly I'll share my story of how that's evolved because my now in this recent venture, I would say as of January of this year are so closely intertwined yes. career and, and life yes. purpose. And they, you know, again, for women that are like, how do I get there? We'll have some really good things that we'll share about being in the unknown, yeah. you know, feeling like you're stepping into purpose, but you're not quite there. And what does that look like? How do you sit with that? How do you stay with something in motion, knowing that it's not your ultimate end goal, but keep yeah. working toward that? Oh, there's so much yeah. goodness here. You and I can literally talk forever. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, my goodness. And I was just on a, um, I was invited for a panel last night and I was in a group of, of um, corporate women and women who have some side hustles and women who are exploring this topic, mm -hmm. actually. And I have so many thoughts in my own experiences that just, it's a really powerful topic and it's important to talk about, especially for mm -hmm. women, because there's so many ways that you can do it. And if you don't mm. know your superpowers or you haven't had a chance to do self-reflection, you will come to these points in your life where you feel like you need to break free or climb over. And, you know, I think the women that are going to be in this event on November 17th, they've experienced some of this at mm -hmm. different levels. Mm -hmm. But these women, like yourself, are here for others to look at um you have been able to demonstrate how what it is to be powerful smart and successful but also vulnerable also mm -hmm. curious also being stuck and how to get unstuck it's not mm. it's not a oh i don't even know what the word is but oftentimes when we're in that role we think some of these things are failures or that vulnerability is weakness right we hear that so yeah. often and it's like this space is a reminder that these women have gone past that to demonstrate that all of this vulnerability is actually the strength um, that helps you kind of move to the next level. And that's what yeah. that excites me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So much. Okay, Jen, I, I can <laughs> ramble and go on forever, but I would like to um, invite you to answer this for our audience. Who do you think should come? I mean, I think we kind of talked about it a little bit, but who do you think would really, um, it's valuable for their time to share space with us on that day? Yeah, I, I think the women that need to be there are the ones that don't have it figured out, that things look messy right now. They don't know where to go, how to shift, how to stay in some sort of purpose that can move them forward. I think those are the women I would love to see. And then um, I also, thinking back to myself 10 <laughs> some years ago, want yeah. to see, um, you know, people, I was doing all the right things. I felt like I was doing all the right things, yet mm -hmm. I still didn't know what that purpose was. Yeah. And I had to live in that for years. And I, I think, you know, women coming to this, we want to give them what it looks like. And then also just the inspiration and reassurance that it's part of the process. Yeah. You know, we just want to know, and sometimes yeah. we can't, but we can also feel good and validated and purposeful in that, um, you know, you're working towards something and yeah. it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, some of this work is messy and it's yeah. nonlinear. Yeah. Oh, for that sure. Is good. <laughs> I love that. That yes, if I had not to linear, yeah. <laughs> no, not yes, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jen. Yeah. Thank it you, is Lisa. Such an honor to have you in this sisterhood I call. But um <laughs> I appreciate you and I'm excited to continue working with you on so many new things that I know that we have for us in this next year. And I just encourage all of you out there to 
check Jen out. She is doing a lot of great things in our community and throughout the country. And I really do hope that you join us for our last event of this fall series. And again, it's on Thursday, November 17th. It's from 7 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And our event is called My Career, Superpower, Purpose, and Change. And we really hope that you'll join us. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Bye, everybody.